no. There Morning guys, it is a new day here and probably my most favorite delivery has just arrived. Now I haven't actually opened each individual box, so I'm gonna do that with you guys, but this box behind me here has got some very expensive, very, very nice, high quality stuff inside. So let's take a look. We've got our lovely boxes delivered. We've got our number plate light. Ooh, all billet aluminium. We've gone for the full package on this to make sure that this thing looks every bit as high quality as it should do. And obviously with all the galvanizing, which is all in fresh silver, we should have these really, really nice high quality silver accents just shining through. Um, and they're gonna stand out, but not in an outlandish way. They're just gonna give it a really, really nice high quality feel to it. We've gone for the heat controls as well. So everything you touch is gonna to be very, very high quality. Where's some good bits? I mean, I know these obviously are good bits, but where's some, here we go. Bonnet hinges, oh. Just think of this against that lovely striking blue paint. So we've got those, that's cool. And we've got things like our vents. So everything's gonna shine through on this. Let's start assembling. Oh my, I completely forgot. Completely forgot we've got the hinges so we can actually put our series door conversions on. So. Let's grab the door and let's start um, putting them on. Yes. Door looks installed, and I've just got a final final piece there. That door's looking sick, isn't it? Galvanized top, the nice hinges, nice lock with the nice rivets, really coming together. I've got to get the wheels on. That's why it's on the lift. So let's get the wheels on. see what it looks like so let's get on the floor and have a look this thing is really really starting to piece together its final sort of image it's these wheels make such a difference I'm so happy with the size the style the colour choice, I was a bit concerned that painting them the same body colour would look a bit weird, but I'm really, really impressed. And it sits a lot higher, actually, um, in a good way. Really, really nice. Now, I have got one box here, which has got the interior in. Now, it's quite a big box, and I'm going to have to get the car outside so that we can actually have a look at this thing, unpack them and have a look, 
and then we'll go and fit them. But I'm so excited about this stage. So we push the car outside. <clears throat> Tell me that is not unbelievable. So, so cool. Really classic styled, but obviously with a focus on kind of quality items fitted here. Now I did pull this out for one reason. Also, I've got to say, stainless wheel nuts. Very nice. Um, I've got the interior in here, so we're gonna pull it out and you've got to see this thing. I've never seen it, so. I'm gonna put the knife. Yeah. Right here, forever and a day has been the interior for this build. Now, I'll be delighted to get this thing out of the way. And I, I'm sorry about the condition of this, but it's a bit of an Aladdin's cave of really nice items just stored very unorganized, but there we go. Um, now, I've never seen this. And the last thing I wanna do is cut the interior. So I'll make sure that I hack away at it. Incredibly nice, aren't they? <gasps> oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Let's get this out. Perfect for this build. Classic style basket weave, deep tan. Woo! Oh, yes. I've got to unpack the rest of this stuff and we can start fitting this. Oh, I'm strong. So, here is everything. And I've just, I've got to bolt the seats in. I, there's, yeah, we're bolting the seats in right now because that just looks ridiculous. Love all the rivets being shown off. Still got to paint all this. swing away uh, wheel carrier on the back. Now, I kind of had a lot of options to do with this car and I thought you can either put the wheel kind of on the side at the front, you can either put it at the back at the rear of the bulkhead, but I really like just the kind of simple, elegant carrier just on the back that can swing out the way and then you can drop the tailgate down. So let's open the box, see what we got, see the instructions, and then we can attack fitting this. Now this obviously requires drilling and the rest of it, so I've got to make sure it's done right, but let's, uh, let's open the box. Our fitting instructions, they are near on useless so we're gonna have to pretty much make it up but in here we obviously have our carrier our brackets let's figure out what we're going to do with this and then we can start installing it 
these instructions and I genuinely feel that these instructions are absolutely useless. Um, they pretty much have two diagrams and that's it. So I'm pretty much going to make it up as I go along and make sure we get it right. But what I can understand from their instructions is that this bracket um, goes at the bottom and looking at pictures on Google and the rest of it mounts through, through those two holes. Now I did have some suds sort of snapped off in that, those holes. So I've just had to heat them up and get them out. Same with this side. But let's go ahead and start mounting this bracket. Now we are going to upgrade the whole rear tailgate hardware, uh, the crossmember hardware. So I'm going to substitute their kind of bolts for some Allen bolts, just so everything's all uniform. So let's get this fitted. assembled i think it looks absolutely amazing really really cool how it all functions we've put on this kind of lead so that it can't swing open and smash anything else but i think now it's time to put on the rear wheel and see how it uh, see how it finally looks i know this thing is really really heavy oh. It's a really nice addition. Don't forget, obviously, we're going to have a soft top, so it looks a little bit weird at this point. But that's one more job done. So now that this rear wheel carrier is on, we are waiting for the postman to arrive and I think he's gonna be here about midweek actually. So I'm done for today and basically I shall check back in with you guys when I receive a lot of parts. I'm gonna receive the lights and stuff like that, the seat belt bracing bar, um, the arches and the grill back from the paint shop and then we can go from there. Um, but I will do one last thing this episode, which is install our delicious CNC billet fuel cap. So let's pop this on. And a set of keys, thank you. Really, really nice. So, we shall get rid of these gloves from the painter. Okay, I have a box of gloves apparently. Yes. It's details like this, which I think are gonna make this, this build entirely. It's that extra 20% of stuff in my mind. Um, and then basically my vision with this car is, I envisage people, so when I was younger, I used to go to car shows and I used to see people obsessed with cars, um, usually the older generation, people obsessed with cars that to me as a young boy, they didn't look, um, you know, they weren't neon green with a massive body kit. And as I'm getting older, I'm, I'm now understanding, still learning obviously, um, about how important it is with just these finer details. And although this build, um, to the untrained eye, someone, if it's rolling past the shop or something, 
you probably won't get the same kind of reaction as you would like a Lamborghini roaring past or something, but what I want for this build is it to be parked up and someone who really knows about what they're looking for, or at least appreciates a Land Rover in its kind of basic and prehistoric form. I want them to be walking around this um, and basically each, each time they're looking at it, they're noticing more and more of the quality items picking out. And you know, if you're strolling around, you'd see the, the stainless steel wheel nuts, you'd see the billet aluminium round it, you'd see that the, the cappings have been often been galvanized, you see it's been re-riveted. And just those kind of all those little touches and all the screw heads being aligned, all those little touches I think are what makes this build and what's gonna make this build mesmerizing so that people are gonna walk around it and spend hours looking at it and just find all this new, really, really subtle modifications. Um, so yeah, that's my rambling. But basically, uh, I, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And yeah, this one is a really, really cool, crazy build in a completely different direction to what I usually kind of do and what I kind of go for. So I really hope you guys are enjoying watching it. Please do comment and let me know some suggestions because you guys obviously have some good, good suggestions. And if there's anything that I've missed, that'd be sick. I'm thinking below the fuel cap of putting something, um, you know, like a diesel sign or like an old retro kind of thing there. Um, but yeah, please do hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Obviously I haven't got many followers at the minute, but um, also follow my Instagram at Juice Motors and uh, I'll catch you for the next episode when we've got a bit more, a few more items to pop on. And uh, yeah, stay safe and I'll see you guys soon.